Hey everybody, I'm Nigger from here and welcome back to Blazing Beaks. I guess we're playing as chicken. What's what is about chicken? Can kill marked enemies in one shot. Shoots inaccurately while running, has 80% higher weapon range. Ooh, I like that. Alright. Let's do it. I'm absolutely loving this game. I do not regret the purchase. I am still a little bit annoyed by the menu. God, if we're inaccurate. If we're inaccurate while running, um. We seem to be pretty inaccurate while standing still there. Nice to get some loot somewhere in here. Even if it's annoying loot. Uh, that is annoying loot. Well done, game. Game called my bluff. I mean, I'm gonna take it. But game really called my bluff on this one. You die if you touch an enemy. Man, that one could have gone really ugly. Can't pick up that heart. I mean, we're pretty good for a shop at this point. I'd love to see any sort of loot right here, though. That was pretty bad damage, but I didn't get touched by anything, so I'll take it. Plus one coin for each artifact that you'll pick up. Darn. Couldn't quite. If I hadn't taken that damage, man. Small purple blaster. Eh, I liked the small purple blaster, but this railgun type thing that we got is actually serving me pretty well. I can't really complain about it. Honestly. Though I think I really want... I mean, we do need to try more guns. Like, that is true. I was like, where's the frog? I'm like, no, we still have this. Go away, acid. I've gotten pretty decent at this boss. The second boss is a little bit rougher, but... Dang it. Dang it. I wasn't lined up right. Wasn't lined up right there either. Dang it. Dang it, I almost killed myself again. Well, not killed myself, but almost got hurt. There we go. I definitely could improve on this. Jesus Christ, man, slow down. Well, we got him. Hunt Timson, reload speed and fire rate, that's pretty good. 
Uncollected coins make you lose all your coins, and that is invulnerability for three seconds. I like it. Alright, let's go. I'm just looking around. Don't know how common secret rooms are. I do like how I'm being incentivized. To uh, stay still and also incentivized to move. That was kind of close. I forget which one that is. Ooh, slower projectile speed. That could actually be really good, though. Like, not like good for me, but like it's really good in that. Thank you, invulnerability. We were messing with something that whose projectile speed was already super fast. So this doesn't feel like too much of a loss. We have a shop, might as well take it. We've got what appears to be the golden gun. Okay. Damage six over one. So there's the ice gun. And icy. You know, we haven't tried the golden gun. Let's try the golden gun. I have no idea how this works. We're going to find out. We got to try new stuff, right? I mean, I feel like I'm just rapid fire. Which seems pretty good. This fire rate seems really nice. I know we have a buffed fire rate. But still. Okay, I'm happy with our, our current ability, so I'll take it. ghost. Just making sure that I'm not missing anything. Don't need that heart. Okay, increase the cooldown of the thing we don't lose. Inclusion... In yeah, increasing explosion range. Boss time. I 
Ouch. Jesus, you, you hit me good. You jackass. I felt like that did good damage, although our cooldown is like huge now. We are taking some pretty heavy damage here, just because I am bad. He is capable of leaving us. I'm gonna try yellow also, if I get the chance. Oh god, I'm almost dead. This guy is hard. Shit. I fucked up. <laughs> like, I fucked up! I knew it the second it happened. We had eight health and I still died. I don't think the golden gun was bad. It just wasn't as good as I was hoping it to be. Please, come on, guys. I'd love to have a threat of, like, five. Oh, man. I think loot's all chance-based. I don't think there's any skill, like, if you don't take damage or anything, you've got a higher chance. I don't know if that would be better or worse. That went really poorly for everything that was a frog. Like, I'd go so far as to say that that went well for me. And it probably shouldn't have. I was way too close to that explosion. Man, we found a shop. Without actually finding loot. Okay, hello frogs. I'm glad that the frogs don't do contact damage, because that would end very poorly, I think. I have found no loot. That's really annoying, actually. I've got three coins, it's not even worth stopping in at the shop. Hey look, loot. They look loot. Wow, we got three loot drops. Oh, that hurts. And right before the boss. Oh, I lowered my damage right before the boss. Oh god. This boss fight's now gonna take a ridiculously long amount of time. Oh my god, yes it is. At least I'm still one-shotting those things. So taking some damage to get this done is not the worst thing in the world. This is gonna get so ugly. Oh, come on.
Dang it, come on, man. I'm gonna get you, it's gonna happen. Yeah, I didn't figure that would miss. Okay, good, that did count. I realized I was kinda off by a little bit. Looks like we got to do it one more time. Good lord. Well, rest in pepperoni. Okay, we got him. chance to loot more coin okay one sec fifty percent chance to loot more coins but decrease the chance to loot hearts okay I don't even want that alright we're at about the perfect spot to be at with a shop, 0.9, which means we barely made it. No secret rooms, cool. Let's see what we get. Okay. Minus one XP, plus 20% weapon damage seems pretty good. Get our coins. I'm trying the piranha. I don't know if it's any good. I'm not sold on this, but you know, it could be worse. They hang around. It, this doesn't feel bad. Just feels awkward. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it. Oh jeez, there's a ghost. Okay, there's no loot. Oh man, we're starting really far away. You know my philosophy. I don't know, this does basically make this a land of death. For better or worse. I'm not sold on this, but I do I do like it so far. I'm really waiting to see if I, well, presuming that I make it to the boss how it fares. Ooh.
takes away your active. Oh, I'm gonna regret picking that up because we're gonna be forced into the boss before. Yep. And I'm gonna really wish that I had it for this boss, but. I mean, the key here is just keep firing and don't ever stop because, worst case scenario, you miss and the piranha hits them. Well, worst case scenario, you miss and the piranha doesn't ever hit them. But, there's an alternate case that isn't entirely optimal that is the piranha just hits them later. Alright, let's see if I can do this boss this time. We're getting here pretty consistently, though, which is something. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be working all that well. Oh, no. That was all my bad. I really have to avoid the poison. Getting hit by him is better than running into the poison. That's what, three rounds? Oh boy. Trying to concentrate. I think if I can survive this round, I'll have him. But it is not going to be easy. Oh, good. That was way too close. That is dangerous. Then again, not that we're dead, but oh my. Wanted to try new things. We are less likely to loot hearts. Oh gosh, that's a thing. Is that just a different color or? Well, we've got a shop, as much as I'd like to. What is that that costs 20? A knife? Okay, plus two max HP. Yeah. I gotta try it, it costs 20! Okay, that seems pretty darn good. Okay. Can't pick up artifacts? That's not worth picking up. Okay, that's not acid, that just makes you slow. Oh gosh. Ooh, that's a chance to jam. It's probably not worth it, but... It's too late, I've already done it. 
Okay, that's a new enemy. Okay, I was like, come on, please. Okay, I need to get rid of this bubble gum, like, freaking ASAP. Ouch. I mean, we're about to gain massive benefit from it. Or, well, we're about to be at the point where it doesn't matter, so, oh lord. Yep, fuck. Ah, well, we got this unlocked, and it's time to call the episode, I think. Ah, uh, we were doing so well, and then I did so poorly. It was the bubblegum. I should never take the bubblegum. It's so bad. It hurts so much, and it's not worth the one point, or the point five that you get from it. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll see you next time, and until then, keep your gears turning.